Good, after <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, who speaks French in the room? Only three? So, I'll try to make the presentation in English, but uh, I apologize, my English is really poor, but perhaps better than your French. Um, and my, I, I have to apologize because I have a train at uh, four o'clock at St. Pancras, so if you have questions, I put, I put my uh, name uh, on uh, Twitter, and you can ask all the questions on Twitter, uh, Twitter and I will uh, uh, respond, uh, I will answer uh, when I'm in the train in uh, one hour. So, I will give you a feedback because I am at X-Way, but before I am in charge of the major uh, program of API, open API in the big bank, French bank, it's a Credit Agricole? <laughs> I didn't say this, anything. Uh, and it was in uh, 2013. Uh, and uh, in 2013, the context is that we are in the digital jungle. Our customers, uh, for our customers, it's really difficult because when they are going to the store, or the App Store, or the Google Play, they have more than 100 uh, uh, financial financial applications, sorry. Uh, and uh, these applications are sometimes better than the official application of the banks. And there are questions. There are questions for our customers, because for our customers, it's uh, how can I choose the right, the good application for my bank? And the second question is for the banks. See, what is the exposure in, the, in this big store for a financial uh, service? Uh, it was really a question. And when we are uh, in 2013, uh, the disruption of almost uh, all the business models was uh, already a re reality. Uh, all companies today are abrasive, but uh, it continues uh, nowadays. Uh, you have looked at uh, Thomas Cook uh, the last month. But on the, on the bank size, uh, the startup and the big tech attack their historical business. Uh, financial institutions uh, are particular, particularly affected, not just a commercial bank. Commercial bank on the change, on the, the customer relationship, but now it's uh, also the central banks with Libra uh, that uh, is the target of the GAFAs. Uh, in 2013, we had an ecosystem an ecosystem of fintech under construction, construction uh, which has uh, now been significant, significantly uh, extended. I have just a map of uh, all the, the fintech that uh, uberizes different business of the bank. And we think in, we in 2013 that there is an urgent uh, matter. The question then become, how can uh, a fistful of engineers in the Silicon Valley managed to develop a digital product like WhatsApp uh, to the value of 22 billion uh, of dollars uh, in five years when a traditional company, our customers, like Peugeot, big French uh, car manufacturer, uh, cannot exceed two billion after 120 uh, years and more than 100,000 employees. It's really a question and the answer is very clear for us. We have to understand the power of the exponential laws that govern the digital activities. The digital activities are governed by the Moore law for the power of computer, but it's also governed by the Metcalf law for the power of the network. And we have to use the network to amplify our business. It's what we understand. And uh, this uh, network allows, among other things, to access to external resources uh, that will add value of our services. For example, uh, we can use IBM or Google's machine learning to improve your services rather than develop it yourself. But the good question for a bank is you have not uh, to make a min misunderstanding of the question. Understanding digital transformation means that understanding that there is a real difference between digitizing existing process and transforming your business to adapt it to the digital world. 
digitizing the existing process is like uh, dressing a grandmother as a young girl. It's <laughs> always a real grandmother. Using the power of the digital technology would make it really younger. It's that's the difference. I have an example. The example I've taken it's for uh, it's a Best Buy. Best Buy is a i5 vendor. Uh, I think it's a good example to understand the power of the digital transformation with the API via APIs. Best Buy sells i5 product in physical shop. Initially, they offer a simple uh, online store or web store, but thanks to their APIs they can go further by offering a tools on the smartphone to evaluate the acoustic of the room. You just put your iPhone or your Android in the middle of your room and it evaluates all the acoustic of the room. And it suggests the most appropriate Wi-Fi uh, system for your room. You want it? You just click on the button, order it. And everything is uh, is, is done. You, are, you don't have to go to the, to, to the website, you don't have to with the website of Best Buy. Everything is done by website, by uh, Best Buy, but you don't see anything. It's a good integration and it's uh, the, the, the best vision of what must be a platform. In an open ecosystem, to do this, Best Buy has opened up all the, its infrastructure. For the bank, for our bank, the equivalent is called open banking. And we preserve all the lower uh, strat, the core banking infra infrastructure legacy, but we expose APIs to uh, an ecosystem of fintech. This bank as a service uh, is used by, by all the innovation ecosystem. And we benefit from the power of the network economy. This is the strength of the open economy. It means using the strength of the network to grow and transform your business. I'm not the one who said it. Listen, Mark Andreessen, the inventor of the first web browser, Netscape. He says, in the networked world, the three most desirable things are connection, connection, connection. This is the golden rule, connection and openness. In, and uh, Kevin Kelly, the founder of Wired, said, I promise it materially the same thing. But we had a good news. The good news for the bank is that we have the trust of your customer. Theoretically, banks have an asset to become platform because they have the major asset. It's a cost customer trust. And it could be a, a sort of marketplace for the financial service, but for other services too. So come back in 2013. Uh, I was working so for the major bank in uh, 2013 and uh, my feedback is uh, this one. The genesis of the creation of uh, the project, project is that, that we have to create an open innovation and open banking uh, with open API digital platform to develop uh, time to market services. And at the origin of the project, we have therefore launched an internal startup with the purpose of taking advantage of uh, external resources to support the digital transformation and offer our customers the best technology and the best services. So it, we have two, um, two, two, two lines of development. The open innovation process with all the customers that can submit services of, uh, of ideas, uh, new ideas on the, on the store, and all the external developers that develop the future uh, digital solution. And we have to manage all the opening of the customer services and all the, the opening of the API. In fact, I think that this uh, is a better uh, vision because at the heart of the concept, we have opened up the entire, entire core banking of the bank with a secure open API. And we also offered a digital identity that's what I said uh, this morning, because digital identity system secure access by simpli simplifying the authentication uh, process. And it's very important to provide maximum convenience uh, for the end user in this process. And uh, we have not only worked with the bank customers to find out their needs, to get them to come up with ideas from innovation, but we have also worked extensively with a developer ecosystem 
uh, to improve the exposure of the core banking system to offer the API that appropriate for them and that are really, really easy to use. And uh, the results are very quick. We have a real, we had a real international recognition with uh, many innovation awards, including uh, the Finovet in London in 2013. And, but above all, uh, we have an explosion of innovations. <coughs> More than 100 applications <coughs> developed in less than four years, whereas traditionally large bank, major bank produce uh, an application, one application every uh, three or four years. For us, it's really an accelerator and really high quality output. It also uh, allows to be time to market because this open API and ecosystem uh, enabled us to offer the first application using biometrics. Uh, it's a touch ID and face ID after. The first banking application on Apple Watch, the first application on Apple TV, and one of the first banking applications on Google Home. We also had the highest rated banking application in the store, thanks to API. I have some uh, example of application because above all, we understood that the user's expectation were not to have a bank. A bank is only a, a, a way to fulfill uh, other needs. An innovation application, for example, allows you to geolocate your expenses. Or another application, another example, is uh, allow to the recording of all the expenses report. And as it's connected with API to the customer's banking system, it alerts the customers uh, if an expense report is not refunded. Uh, now I will speak about PST2 because <laughs> In uh, September 2019, uh, uh, PST2 became uh, effective. And let's analyze uh, the first feedback in France. I only speak about the French market. Uh, it's perhaps little, uh, <laughs> too, too little to, to read everything, but uh, PST2 kill me. Uh, it's, uh, it's said in, the, in this uh, first article in the middle. Uh, on the right, say PST2, uh, one year after bank one, aggregators zero. Uh, on the bottom, it's a bad uh, launch for open banking in the French market. On the left, uh, PST2 uh, has no, uh, don't profit to the aggregator. There is really it raised many criticism from FinTech uh, and from all the specialists because the developers can't understand how it works. It's really a fighter path for customers <laughs> to, de to developers alike. It was not necessary to bring more obstacle to the user experience. So on the first part of the PST2, you only, the, the scope is too restrictive. You have only access to the payment account. Whereas I open all the open banking system with PST2, there, there is only access to the payment account. You have a complex custom, customer journey with uh, the need of strong authentication. There is one, uh, a one-time password uh, every month. It's really, uh, it's really good, not, not a good experience. You are just to, 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 to see uh, how, uh, look at the user experience of the Apple or of the crypto uh, wallet application. It's really simple. How could we imagine that a customer can use uh, this uh, uh, application with PST2 API? There is no, no aggregator in France that use the API of PST2. They still use the screen scrapping. It's really more simple. It's really more better. You have access to all that data. So it's really uh, uh, a real problem. The screen scrapper are not obstructed. So no aggregator use it. I just want to share a good vision of the open API and of the open banking. I think uh, the best uh, example is Luxub in Luxembourg. I don't know if you have looked at Luxembourg. But it's sort of uh, one point aggregator of all the, uh, the bank from Luxembourg. 
all the banks are, are, are connected to this uh, hub, in fact. Uh, and when you are a developer, you have just one uh, one call to the Luxup to access all the all the, the banks. You have only one uh, personal ID when you work in Luxembourg. That's a good idea. It, you have to factorize access as Luxup. But I think that the bank uh, didn't understand the platformization of their business as other business do. They should be federated around a, around a single access point uh, associated with a strong digital identity. That's what we said. Uh, identity and personal data management uh, could open the door uh, to the transformation to their business, their bank business. To do this, they must sync ecosystem. And API only, uh, an API only lives uh, if it's used. It was necessary to discuss PST2 with the FinTech, with the developer, not to oppose it. That's what uh, they, they, they have done. So my vision after PST2, what will certainly happen after PST2 is a sort of extension of the PST2, a PST3. And a PST3 that will require uh, banks to be fully open, free for the bank. Will the bank take the initiative and under understand that uh, it's in their best interest uh, uh, to position themselves uh, as a trusted marketplace uh, in the digital economy? That's the only question that uh, I have to, to ask. But uh, this will uh, involve uh, more than just uh, a PST2 in any case. So, thank you very much. It's my vision of PST2 in France. I hope that in the other country it's better, but uh, it's, a, it's a black vision, it's a real vision. And uh, thank you, and uh, I will just say that Axway is uh, your partner in, in of your digital transformation. Thank you very much. I, I think as I am not too late for my friends.